<laughs> hey everybody, I'm in with Okay, let's say here's a standard fight. Um, thought I'd do a little yes, you see that right there? That was a sign they made for a WWE live event um about a year or so ago. Awesome. I know. Um so this is a, another vlog. I know it's been a long time since you've seen one of these. Um where I basically show this, but I got I get kinda shy to. But anyway I decided to do this today because for my eighteenth birthday special and also one thing I ask Give mama some free hugs, will you please? Don't care if it's an awkward internet hug, just do it, please. Do it for your mommy. Yes, you'll probably see that I look a little unrecognizable because of these, but what whatevs. Anyway, so today, I did not just want to be just talking random crap in front of the camera, yada yada, so I thought I'd do, uh, fix the camera now. Um, strange things, uh, well, stop. Ten strange facts about me. Doesn't hurt to like strange things, does it? I don't think it does. And I put these in, uh, basically no order. In no, like, preferable order or anything like that. So, first thing is that, yes, I love ravens and owls. They just look really mysterious and such. I love that. I seriously love it. And they're really pretty. And other good stuff. I'll look at all my tablet because I I personally like to look at things in order to Okay, funny thing. Um I can even though I have I've been told that I actually have a good memory. But I hate memorizing things. I hate it. God, like, there are just things that I'm really good at that I actually hate. And it's pretty funny. Maybe I should make a list for that or something. Maybe. I don't know. Um, another thing is that I love anything dark and mysterious, such as vampires and witches. Um, I do, I do dig the dark and mysterious things. I do love vampires. I do love witches. Oh my god, the mysterious witches. Awesome. Totally dig those. I think I should put on, um, and also, like, pretty cool, badass, um, villains slash heroes, such as Maleficent. Has anybody seen that movie? That was a badass movie. I love it. That was such a good movie. I saw it, like, I seen it before. It is so awesome. I love the movie. So freaking awesome. Oh my god, maybe I, that's, maybe that's who I should put on the thumbnail. Maybe, maybe her, maybe changing my avatar to Maleficent will be the next avatar change. Maybe. We'll see. Um, another thing is that, okay, this one's gonna be a weird one to, for some of you. This one could freak some of you out, and I'm sorry if that's the case. And the lighting makes me, makes my hair look lighter than usual, which is weird, but that is, I love nightmares. No kidding, guys. Like, I love them. I don't know what it is about them, but something, I guess, about the colors or something, or how real or how vivid they come, they fascinate me in some way. They just, they just really fascinate me. I've been having them a lot lately, but I just love it. I'm like, because sometimes after I have a nightmare, I'm like waking up and I'm like, yeah, this is awesome! Yeah. Yeah, I'm sounding a little bit weird here. Um, this one's another kind of a strange one, and this could apply to possibly in the future if any guys were to go on a date with me. Um, peacefulness does scare me. Peacefulness and silence, really. Um... So, I wouldn't mind if you, uh, so, if you were to take me out, uh, if, okay, and then, guys, if you're gonna want to take me out on a date, if you're gonna take me out to, like, a, I don't know, two-way beach or something, and it's really quiet, just beware, I could go a little crazy if it gets too quiet or too peaceful, because that seriously scares the crap out of me, I don't even want to tell you. 
Um, another thing is that too much cheerfulness does scare me as well. Um, so if you were to make me watch, uh, holy crap, what? What thing I ask? Don't make me watch My Little Pony, please, don't. That crap has scared me. Um, another thing is that I love having paranormal experiences, and which I do, actually. Um, because, of course, I've had two people in my family die last year, but I probably won't go into that, at, at least not in this video. But if you really, but if you want to ask me about that, I'll go ahead and I'll reply to you or not. I just won't go into that in this video, because I'm not gonna... Because this video won't be that long anyway. Um... Is that I and another thing is that I love ghosts and spirits. No kidding, like I love them. I love them. If I see them, I'd be like, "Yo, what's up? Are you hanging out? What you do, bro? You hanging out with me? Yeah." <laughs> this is the awkwardest you've ever seen me, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm just, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, another thing. I love dead roses. Oh my god, I actually have a dead rose right now, but I won't bring it out right now. But, um, I love them. It's just like, it's just like the color of them and like the feeling of them. Like, they just fascinate me in, in a way. I don't know, but I just love dead roses. No kidding. Um, and another, and another one. This one is also gonna be a really strange one, like the I love nightmares thing, but, uh, but... Well, actually, the last two that I'm gonna bring up are actually, like, like I said, another one of those strange ones. Which, now I can actually remember the final two. Uh, one is that black is my happy color, actually. Um, a lot of people do say black is depressing. It's It makes people sad, because when you wear black, you're sad. For me, it's the total opposite. It's the complete opposite. That actually makes me really, really happy. I'm happy because then you see me all happy, you see me cheery, and all this stuff. And a lot of times if you see me, like, super, super happy, then more than likely I could be wearing black. You never know. Um, because I don't do face cams, by the way. I don't do face cams. I don't, because for two reasons. One, I have no idea how that technology works. And two, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it! Seriously. Not going to. And uh, the last one. Uh, I forgot. Oh! No, I have it in here. I totally forgot about that. Oh, there. Okay, another one that's also gonna be strange, but this could be like more strange than everything else, is that actually music with like. With like dark lyrics or something like that. Like if you guys like if have you guys heard of Breaking Benjamin or Avanensis? Any of those? Any of those two? Those are the only two bands that I that I can really think of that have like with like that have like dark music or have dark lyrics in their songs. Though that type of music actually does make me happy. It makes me so happy. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. It's just, I guess it's something about them that really fascinates me. And it makes me kind of look at more... It kind of makes me go more in depth for me. I think it makes me a lot more interesting as a as a Let's Player and all that. And, um... Yeah, I think... Yeah, a lot, so... And yes, I happen to listen to those two bands, by the way. Um... But I have more Breaking Benjamin than Evidence since, but that's be but I won't go into why. But yeah. And if you guys have been watching my Killing Floor Let's Play, you might have seen the possible Breaking Benjamin references I put up. Um, and, and be prepared for more in the upcoming future for Killing Floor videos. Oh my god, Killing Floor is such a fun game. It's like so hard. It's like pretty hard at first. But then, like, once you, but then once you, like, into it, then it'll be easier. I mean, I'm doing beginner mode right now, so whatevs. And it's crazy. So, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy this, and 
enjoy and hope hope some of you didn't get too freaked out about the strange things about me, especially the strange things that I happen to love. And Okay, so let me give an examples about like what kind of dark music I listen to. Like I like I said, I only gave you like artist names, but if you heard of like there's certain songs that are like really really dark. I know uh one of them one of them was Breath by Breaking Benjamin. That's a good one. I love it. I freaking love it. Another one is Zero Agony, also by Breaking Benjamin. Dang, awesome, awesome song. Anybody has heard of that? Has anybody heard of Breaking Benjamin? If you haven't, what have you been doing all day? Seriously! Go listen to them! They're good! I'm not kidding! Maybe that's just me, but I just love the I just love the band. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this, hopefully. Like I said, hopefully you don't get freak too freaked out. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, and also, um, just any, just anything what you thought about the stuff that I said, about the strange facts about me, what do you think of what I said, all the shenanigans and what, yada, 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 yada. Okay, I'm blabbering now. And also, if you want it, if you also want to be so, hello, I can't talk today. Also, if you want to see more content from me in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to become part of my stand and fight. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! And that's how we do it. <laughs>